It's all a con. It's an illusion. It's all, it's all trickery. It's all lies. I want to get this girl, but you're not good looking enough. You're not strong enough. You're not intelligent enough. You're not rich enough. So it's personal. So if I make myself strong enough, pretty enough, rich enough, charismatic enough, affluent enough, then I can get the girl. Yeah, so it's a certain kind of relationship, agreed. So it's a, it's a relationship based on personas. Your persona has to get her persona. Is there something beyond this? And let's be honest, people who have personas, don't they have a secret desire to be seen and loved? Like the girl who's every single guy wants to bang her, and she has a boyfriend who's the equivalent superhero of the humanity, right? Doesn't she secretly want to be loved for not her tits and not her ass and not her pretty face? And That's what she really wants. But nobody can see past that. Nobody can see past the persona because everybody's in love with her persona. And she relates to the guy because of his persona. So everything is personal. Personal meaning personality, persona. A person, which is a concept, a creation. Great, so that is bound to create suffering. But first of all, because you don't get what you really want. So, the, those relationships secretly are not about, are about one thing. I want to be seen. I want to be seen. Yeah, but if now you go in a relationship and you see yourself. So, am I going in a relationship because I want to be seen or I'm going in a relationship because I want to do business? If your average person goes in a relationship because he wants to be seen, I understand that. I respect that. Because they don't see themselves, or they barely see themselves, and as we've discussed at the, very, at the start of this series, or this session, pardon me, they want, to, they want to be recognized because they don't recognize themselves, and that's what they're looking for from the girl. Okay, so let's say I begin the relationship now, and I see myself already. So I don't need you to see me, I don't give a fuck if you see me or you don't. So you're going to ask the question, so what's the relationship about? Yeah, now we're talking. Let's start over. Your average person enters in your average person enters in a relationship. Really, they'll say they want to fuck. That's this, this, this horny, uncontained man, or the sluttish girl who wants to suck resources. Fine, that 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 does exist. But at a, one level, a little deeper. This is not so deep. The man or the woman, they want to be seen. They want to be recognized. They want to be appreciated, validated, and all these all these words. Fantastic. So that's what the relationship is generally about. Do you see me? Do you see I'm beautiful? Do you love me? Can you love me? Am I worthy of love? Both sides. Fantastic. So that's your average relationship. What happens now if you are able genuinely to give that to yourself? I see myself. I don't need you to see me. I love myself. I don't need you to love me. I know myself, I don't need you to know me. That's power. So when I enter in a relationship, I'm not looking for that. I'm looking for something else. So if that's power, that's masculine power from my side. So I'm looking, when I'm going into a relationship with a woman, I'm looking for something she has that I don't which is her, the feminine power. I don't have that. That's the only thing I don't have. And I respect that fully. She has that, that half of the power in order to be able to generate something. I don't have it. Respect. I'm not going to steal it. So she can't bribe me. Technically, if she, let's, let's pretend that she's unable to love herself and see herself and all of that. So how the hell can she see me if she can't see herself? Come get the fuck out of here. So she has no idea who I am. 
she'll, she'll, she'll see whatever she's able to see, and she may like that, great, but she cannot perceive me really, because she can't perceive herself. So what am I going to do in that relationship? I'll tell you. If I send, because I can, I, if I can see myself, I can see her beneath, and she'll feel that. And from that she'll feel something awaken in her. Love. And maybe she'll want more of that. And maybe she'll want to learn how to cultivate her love for herself. Great. So what's in it for me? Well, if she starts to heal, quote-unquote, love herself, that means the persona is out of the way, slowly vanishes, and the, genuine, the, the feminine power in its pure form starts to emerge. We don't have to deal with not noise and bullshit and do you love me and you're going to abandon me. All that is, it fades away. That sucks all the feminine energy. And now we have the masculine power and the feminine power that are able to come together and create something pure and wholesome. Now that's interesting. This is business. That's how I see things. This is my life. This is how I experience things. This is what I enjoy. Now you'll say, well, that sucks. It takes the romance out. I'm like, no, it doesn't take anything out. I have access to everything, but I'm not a slave to it. I'm not a subject of it. I don't need you to love me. I don't give a fuck what you think about me. If, 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 it doesn't, if there's no chemistry, I'm not going to waste time. I'm not going to impose myself on you, right? So that's right. If I don't feel it, if she's pretty or ugly, I don't care. It's like, can, when I look at her, do I see that there's a potential that matches mine? Yes, no. I don't waste more time than that. The relationship is not based on persona. Now, I guess this is very deep for some of you, but it becomes very obvious at some point. Imagine you enter a relationship, because what, what, are your, what does your average guy do? do? You act like he's a man, he's, a, he's an island upon himself. You know why he does that? Because he's hard. But every single girl will tell you. You should speak with them. I don't know if they'll tell you the truth. Oh, they're like boys, like little kids. This tough-ass gangster, He's like a little boy. And women love that because they have power over you. You come in with your, you're like a superhero, and then she, in a couple of minutes, gets you wrapped around her finger and you're like a little child. Who's looking for mommy and love. She'll, they'll systematically tell you that if they're honest. They, they probably won't tell you, but maybe they will. So if they've told me, I've, I've, I've had numerous conversations about that, and. I don't want to say we laugh about it, but we kind of do. I say, but isn't it funny? It's like, this is like super gangster guy, and he's just a boy. And so what is he looking for? He's looking for love from mommy. But mommy ain't there. That's not mommy. That's a girl. So what I'm trying to say, just to wrap it up, imagine you enter into a relationship where you don't have those basic silly needs. So you're not going to go to the relationship. You're going to the relationship for a whole other reason. Yeah, I'm going because she has something I don't. She doesn't have love, and I don't. Get the fuck out of here. She is the woman, and she has access through her body to the woman power. Yeah, I don't have that. I'm good with that, and I respect that. So my relationship with women is about the woman power, not the personality. I have to get, I have to access the goddess despite the personality. I have to navigate through the personality. Because the personality is in the way of the power. That's why in some videos I, I say the thing at the top, that, that idiot, that's the, what I call the personality. It's an idiot, even if it's sophisticated and has like 18 diplomas. It's fucking dumb. Compared to the goddess power, it's as stupid as stupid gets. It's like comparing computer to the sun. Right? No matter how sophisticated computer, it's dumb. So, 
This is the key, and I think this is a beautiful way to end the session. Imagine you enter a relationship, and you're not secretly looking for love, validation, recognition, and any of that, because you genuinely have the capacity to give it to yourself. So what would be the reason that you go into, you enter into a relationship? And let's add the fact you, you're not a hustler trying to steal her power, or she's not trying to steal your power, which is what players do, right? Ah, oh, it's a whole other conversation. What, you mean you, you, like, you don't like my personality? I'm like, no, I can appreciate it, but I don't care for it, no. As long as it's not disagreeable. Yeah, some personalities are more pleasant, but I'm not interested in your personality. I'm interested in you. And I'm going to tell you a secret. Women adore that. Don't talk. You don't explain shit like them. They'll feel offended <laughs> at first. No, in my interaction, when I touch... They adore it because you're touching her. And this is what she's always wanted. I'm also touching a tit. But it's not, I'm not lusting for the tit. Because the tit has, it's just a tit. It's a piece of flesh. It doesn't give me any satisfaction. It doesn't give me anything. It's a fucking tit. Why could a tit turn you on? It's a fucking tit. You fucking idiot. Cows have tits. Tits don't fucking have nothing there. It's a tit. The only reason you get turned on with tits is because you're an idiot. You, your mind is twisted. It's, it could be pretty, but who cares? It's just a tit. No. Nah. What turns me on, if we can use that expression, is her. It's the power. It's the feminine power that your average moron thinks is the tit. The average moron who lives at the surface of existence, who's been mentally conditioned by fucking porn, the tit is equal feminine power. So he's turned on by the surface of the surface of the goddess. It's not, I don't love tits. God bless the tits, right? God bless her ass. God bless her lips and the bottom lips and the whole affair. It's not that. I don't care. About the, the eating pussy doesn't give me any satisfaction. This is that we understand each other. What's the pleasure of giving a kiss? There's no pleasure to give a kiss unless the kiss is a gateway to something else, which is her. If she's not there, there's no satisfaction. So who cares? So you're, as a man, if, you're, if you are, I don't want to say self-fulfilled, but you kind of understand what I mean. If I'm not looking for you to love me, then I love myself. I'm good and I'm comfortable. So if I'm interacting with you, I'm first of all in a position of power. Not that I'm going to, overpower you or do something bad, I'm in charge. And when I'm, in, when I'm looking at you, I'm looking through the person, through the personality, and starting to arouse the power. Her. Right? And then the whole thing becomes a ceremony of arousing or awakening that power inside of her through the person, which is a bunch of tensions. So when you release the tensions, which is technically her personality, that power has more space to circulate. And at some point, it's very intense for her. And then this, with practice, she can let go more. And that goddess energy is awakened. She doesn't have to pretend she's a goddess. She is a goddess, but not the personality. The personality is an idiot. It's a construct. Anyways, I don't know if you'll understand this, but apparently this is today's conversation. So again, you know, I like to repeat myself to wrap it up. What kind of relationship would you have with the feminine, with a woman? If you were not secretly looking for love, validation, admiration, and to feel special. If you didn't put that on her, please make me feel special. What would be the relationship about? This is one on the other side, which is the other side of the coin. Let's pretend that you are not some kind of player who just wanted to ejaculate so that you can prove to other men that you are superior to others. Right? So what would be the relationship about? Well, clearly you're not looking for love. You are looking for connection, though. 
Well, yeah, but it's normal because she got the, the other part that which we we're supposed to connect to. Do you understand what I mean? 